This initiative alleviates financial burdens and aligns with our commitment to a fair and inclusive economy. Taxpayers with principal tax debts incurred before 1st January 2023 can therefore take advantage of this opportunity. The amnesty program assists taxpayers facing financial challenges related to unpaid taxes thus fostering economic growth and inclusivity by all Kenyan citizens. On banking, a myriad of threats, singly or in combination, posed, uh, pose fast mutating dangers and constantly test the integrity and resilience of our financial system. I am delighted that on both scores, the central bank is perfectly up to the task and has been able to ensure the soundness of our financial system and stewarded the emergence of a diverse, sophisticated, and competitive banking and financial service sector. I want to commend the Central Bank specifically for bringing back the interbank forex market that had become a challenge. There is a requirement for one to have a bank account in Kenya. And on this, I am speaking to many Kenyans who do not have a bank account. I'm also speaking to many Kenyans in the diaspora, speaking for, let me say that, speaking for many Kenyans who are in the diaspora who may not necessarily have a Kenyan bank account. My advice and feedback to the team is that you need to make it possible for Kenyans who do not have a bank account but have an m -Pesa account to also participate in this space. I also want to ask the team to look at the possibility of Kenyans in the diaspora who may not necessarily have a Kenyan bank account to use their Visa or MasterCard or credit card accounts to be able to also participate in the purchase of government securities. This will expand 
the scope of participants, it will democratize this space even further and make it possible for a bigger majority of Kenyans and investors from both local and in the international space to participate in this endeavor. The concern, of course, is usually uh, KYC. But I think, speaking from where I am and with the experience of the Financial Inclusion Fund, commonly known as the Hasla Fund, I think the KYC provided by telcos is solid enough for it to be relied upon as a mechanism of knowing who these people are. I also believe very strongly that credit card agencies have sufficient KYC information for us to be able to rely on them um, to facilitate this uh, process. One of the fundamental commitments we made to the people of Kenya is to enlist every Kenyan in the task of nation building by opening up opportunities for citizens in their millions across the country to pursue engagements that enrich their lives and bring them closer to their aspirations by two primary means. The first one is to remove all the structural barriers to the contribution of the majority of our people and eliminate systemic obstacles to their participation at any level in all sectors. This is out of the realization that Kenyans are not only capable of meeting their needs and creating wealth through hard work, but they also aspire to contribute to the baking of a national cake large enough to feed all of us instead of just waiting for morsels distributed through sometimes adversarial, competitive, and untimely, and sometimes acrimonious political mechanisms, as we all know. The second is to facilitate millions of Kenyans to participate and make their contribution through innovative and transformative policies, programs, and projects that facilitate access to opportunity and to the means of turning these opportunities into incomes as a path to improve well-being and create wealth through savings and investments. It's my pleasure to be here this morning and to join His Excellency, the President, at this very, very important occasion on the launch of the Dow Central Securities Depository, uh, this, 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 uh, Depository the Dow CSD, and as a former central, bank, uh, central banker, I'm happy to be back home, but more importantly, to increase the diversity of the products that are going to, uh, to enrich our market. The central banks in all emerging and frontier markets like Kenya are currently faced with significant headwinds arising from monetary policy tightening, especially in advanced economies, and more so, the challenges that are posed by surprise-side shocks that have hit the economy for so many years now, accounting for years, especially starting with the, 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 the drought last year, and also the subsequent surprise shocks. These surprise-side shocks marked a very difficult season for central banks, given their mandate is to ensure price stability, but pressures from the surprise side do require more than bringing the supplies back into the market, whereas the central bank use the demand side tools. But I'm happy to note that given the in interventions the central bank and the government have implemented, the Kenya sharing, ha uh, the exchange rate is now stabilizing. And the monetary policy, monetary policy committee has also taken measures to address inflation. This, together with measures implemented by the government to support increased agricultural output, have resulted into a decline in inflation to 6.7% from a high of 9.6%, as the governor mentioned. And we do expect this 
to be, decline, to be a declining trend on inflation, especially as we continue to see food supply coming back into the market and even productivity and production increases in our farms, in our smallholder farms and even larger farms. The global developments have drastically worsened the external financing conditions and this has limited Kenya's access to external borrowing and even affected the domestic de debt market uh, liquidity. For this reason, the domestic borrowing targets, for example, for the financial year 2022-2023, uh, was met with a lot of difficulties. But it's also a lesson for us so that we can come up with innovative solutions that can address the situations or even conditions as they arise. Consequently, for me, the rollout and for the government, the rollout of the Dow CSD by the Central Bank of Kenya is a great milestone as it will not only enhance the operational efficiency of the government domestic debt program, but also support the deepening of the domestic capital market. The launch of this system marks a major step in the government's eff efforts to promote local savings and investment. Allow me, Your Excellency, to once again congratulate the Central Bank for delivering a state-of-the-art system that conforms to the international best standards, but also in addition allows us to join some of the line products that have been produced at a very, very micro level. And we do believe that a combination of these mid, mid, middle and also micro level uh, uh, products is going to be quite productive for us and quite satisfying for us. Allow me also to recognize the role played by the World Bank, the National Bank of Georgia, and the market st stakeholders in Kenya, commercial banks, investment banks, CMA, Nairobi Securities Exchange, KRA, and even IRA, their input in the, in the project has been invaluable. I also wish to acknowledge my colleagues from the National Treasury for their role in this important milestone. They are the most people who complain when domestic borrowing, or that is the market of uh, public debt does not work well because it affects them directly. So we have a stake here, and that stake is very, very important so that we we'll take up any responsibility in future to make sure that we improve on this diversity of products that are flexible to the borrower, but they are also flexible in terms of providing the resources that we require.